deep freeze. Winter had come, and for many days now it held everything in, an icy, in its icy grip. The countryside was frozen hard. Trees were white with frost, and icicles hung from the bridges and water columns. Luckily, however, there was little snow. That too cold for that, thank goodness, shivered James's driver, as he, as he and the fireman huddled on the sheltered side of the cab. James had an open footpath, and every day, his crew came to work muffled to the eyebrows in scars and jerseys. Sometimes water columns froze too, and then the engines could get not could not get the water they needed. But this had never happened with the at the workstation. And one day, when the frost seemed harder than ever, James's driver stopped him by the water column. There, we'll give you a good topping while we can, he said. There's no telling what we might get some more. James shivered as the icy water cascaded into his tender, but he knew his driver was right. They filled James's tank to the brim because the fireman forgot to tell the driver to turn the tap off. Water overflowed onto James's tender, making him start to shiver again. Right, said the dr said the fireman, jumping jumping down from to the full plate. Let's be off. I want to warm myself up shoveling coal. We can't go yet, laughed the driver. They haven't finished loading the, the luggage van. I well, I wish they'd hurry, grumbled the fireman, blowing on his hands. I'm frozen from standing on that tender. All engines have, an have a tap called an ejector. It allows the driver or the fireman transfer water from to the boiler and it is very important without the water level without it, the water level in the boiler could become too low to make steam properly he had gone they had not gone for they had not gone far for James felt thirsty I need a drink please he said he said to his driver the driver switched on the injector but nothing happened the fireman tried his duplicate still nothing I've got such a pain, groaned James. Your injectors failed, said his driver. Blockage in the pipe, most likely. We'll have to stop and deal with your fire. We can't go on without water. Don't set the sleepers on fire, pleaded James. Henry would never let me forget it. The fireman laughed. We'll be all right if we just damp you down, he said. Hold on. There's no need to throw the fire out as Henry did. They stopped near the signal box, and James's driver set, asked the signalman to telephone for help. The work sent a diesel, whom James had never met, to help him. Rescued by a diesel, he snorted disgustedly. It's degrading. I won't go. But he soon changed his mind, because now that his fire was down, now that his fire was down, his boiler was cooling, and he could feel the icy wind. The diesel was friendly. James was quiet at first, but by the time they reached the works, the diesel had won him over, and the two of them were chatting like old friends. At the works, James's fireman climbed down to the tender. He climbed onto the tender. He tried to open the filler cap, but he couldn't do it. There's your answer, James, he said. Your filler cap is frozen solid. That's because the water overflowed. Ice is stopping air from getting into the tank, so the injectors can't work. You'll be all right when the ice melts. He was, and that wasn't all. Thanks to his new friend from the works, even James now admits that diesels can be useful engines, too.